What's the word, y'all? We had some shenanigans, ladies and gentlemen. Isaiah Stewart versus Le LeBron. His second ejection of his NBA career was LeBron really about to fight? No, he wasn't. Um, but we saw these two dudes get face to face. Isaiah Stewart is bleeding. He's trying to run through the whole city of Detroit to get to LeBron. He got to go through the whole city of Detroit. And then the entire Los Angeles Lakers team. I saw somebody on, on Twitter say this is the best defense the Lakers have ever played. And that was defending LeBron James in that moment. But I've seen so many opinions about this, right? I saw the Lakers slash um, LeBron side say LeBron didn't do anything wrong. It was an unintentional swing. I I saw the Isaiah Stewart slash Detroit Pistons fans say Isaiah Stewart didn't do nothing wrong. And I'm here to give my opinion, which is exactly that. You might disagree. That's fine. But in my opinion, both of these players are completely in the wrong. I can't look at all the angles of this play and say that LeBron James, what he did was unintentional. I can't look at all the footage that we have and say that Isaiah Stewart, him blowing a gasket like that, was worth it. There's no situation, Isaiah where you should be trying to truck through your own assistants, your own teammates to get to anybody on the basketball court. It's a bad look for the organization. It's a bad look for the NBA. And it's a really bad look for you. You're a young NBA player on your rookie deal. And you're promising. You're solid. You cannot afford to get into a fight. And just like that, because LeBron hits you a little bit too hard, that your whole career is over. Now listen, for the Lakers fans out there, this is, the, this is one of the clips I saw that made me think this was intentional. Now, I don't think LeBron meant to hit him as hard as he did. I don't think this man really realized how strong of a person he is. But look, let's go back here. Here's the box out play, right? LeBron James looks at Isaiah Stewart, swings back, boom, right? And the dead giveaway to me, to, again, in my personal opinion, the dead giveaway that this was intentional is his mouth. Look at LeBron James's mouth. And maybe I'm bugging. I've seen my fair share of fights. I've been in one in my whole life. Listen, when your mouth goes like this, you're really trying to put some force behind what you're doing. I don't think that LeBron James really tried to get his man 50 fast stitches or whatever it is, but he definitely tried to send a message that, hey, I don't like the way you boxing me out right now. So he hit him. Um, Again, he's in the wrong. And Isaiah Stewart is in the wrong too because... I think we can all agree that he's playing up for the cameras. Now, Isaiah Stewart is not a dude that's going to back down from any challenge. We've seen that. He went at Blake Griffin. He did, who did he go to? Gian, he went against Giannis. Like, this dude, is he's ready to fight, which, I mean, I guess okay. But like I mentioned earlier, you don't actually want to fight because it's going to end your career. But he was definitely playing it up to the cameras. Here's the moment. Right after the hit, right? Him and LeBron James are literally face-to-face. -face. If you was really trying to fight LeBron... Why you? Why, why is it not happening right here? Why are you so calm in the moment? Now, you can make the argument he didn't really realize that he was going to be leaking from the face and eating his own, drinking his own blood. But there's no better time to fight somebody. It was really the ones at this moment. And I think he felt the, the uh, arena get behind him. He saw how many people were getting involved. And he was like, oh, snap. I should probably go ahead, go overdrive. And there's nothing wrong with, with defending yourself or there's nothing wrong with trying to confront somebody that did you, you did you dirty. But the problem I have with all of this is when he tried to double back. So look, his whole team is holding him back. He basically fighting Kay Cunningham and 30 assistants, right? They, okay, we think it's over. He like, I'm good, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't worry, I got y'all, we're psych. And he just, he just dips back. He's literally trucking assistance. Now, I saw uh, people tweet at the Detroit uh, Detroit Lions to see if they needed a fullback or a tight end because he just he's just doing that. The best meme of all of this is Russell Westbrook squaring up. That's that's fun. There's, there's nobody in the right in this situation. LeBron shouldn't have swung back, and Isaiah Stewart shouldn't have let his emotions get the better of him. I just... There's, there's nothing beneficial from trying to scrap in an NBA game. The amount of blood that came out of this man's face is actually insane, though. Like, that, that is a ton of blood. And I think at the very end of this, when he was actually, like, good, he went to the tunnels, but he ran to the tunnels. And I was listening to the Lakers broadcast when this game was going on, and it was like, oh, he might be trying to go underneath to come out the other side. And then you saw security go to the other side to, to prevent him from coming out. This man was, was, was being a nut job at the moment. I need him, and he is a super young NBA player, um, and hopefully throughout his career he starts to realize this. And 2021, there's basically a no-tolerance thing for something like this.
especially in Detroit, because we, we see some crazy stuff happen in Detroit. Um, b- but there's a no tolerance thing. You can call the NBA soft for it or whatever, but they don't want their players fighting each other. I don't, I don't know if that makes them soft. I just, <laughs> I don't think there's anything that, the, the league doesn't benefit from two dudes fighting. It might be fun for Twitter on the day, but if a, a sponsorship pulls out because it's now it's getting too rough, nobody wins. The contract that you thought you was about to get, the 50 the 50 M's for the max contract, you might not get that if the TV deal gets a little bit worse because ah, we don't know if we want national TV to seeing two grown men square up. You know what I'm saying? There's no world in the NBA where fighting is going to be acceptable. Now, I don't know what happens from this point. Um, is there a hammer that gets put down on LeBron for the flag? I think LeBron being ejected and him uh, missing the rest of the game should be his punishment. Honestly, I would say that Isaiah Stewart probably shouldn't get um, shouldn't get suspended as well. It was it's, at the end of the day, it's just a bad look. But somebody needs to get to that boy's ear because he is ready to scrap what seems like anybody. Now, Lakers, good job on coming back on this one because boy, oh boy, oh boy, was that about to be a bad look if y'all didn't actually win this game against the Pistons? Frank Vogel came out in his post game interview and was like, "This is the." kicking the butt we need to get back on track. Now, if y'all go on like a seven, eight game win streak and y'all look good, y'all better pay Isaiah Stewart a little bit of money for, for, for really, you know, getting y'all franchise a little, a little fire under their butt. Because what I've seen from the Lakers this entire season, them boys don't have a ton of fight in them. And today, they was protecting their king and they fought back from a double digit deficit without him. So that's a Russell Westbrook, big game. Of course, Anthony Davis, big game. But overall, um, it was fun to watch this happen on Twitter but again, there's no place for it in the actual NBA.